with them. <laughs> Alright, so one, two, four. Here. Shout out to Marco Pedrana, Alfredo Jr., AMG, Dan Real, Noble Brown, Mata Ancusa, and Vidmantis. Welcome back, Game Week King family, to another F1 Clash video, and it's the final round for the Champion Series event part two. Uh, as you know, we do our first five races on Saturday. We'll do our last five races on Sunday here for the finals, and we've done our first five races. Uh, a bit of a tough. Uh, five races as well <laughs> so we only managed to score 221 as you can see there got a bit of a tough race in the fifth one right there uh, kind of skewed our score to the bottom so I'm hopefully looking if I could get a top five a top 10 finish here uh, at this point in the race uh, in the event because uh, anything better than top five top 10 uh, isn't currently possible all right so let's continue and see uh how much how higher we can go here we go for our first race on singapore 33 percent chance of rain so we didn't switch any drivers we're using hamilton level six and verstappen level seven hopefully we get a good qualifiers here nice qualifiers in the cloudy so it's not wet Hopefully our drivers can stick with them. All right, so one, two, four, his Alonso and Hamilton, and that's the kind of qualifying we've been getting all day. <laughs> uh, the rival keeps out qualifying us. Let's give uh, Hamilton downforce. And let's give Verstappen uh, the Digin grip and, and corners. Yeah, let's give Verstappen that. Let's go. So, because we don't have uh, Verstappen, Albon, and not Albon, we don't have Alonso and Hamilton at level seven. Uh, we're basically getting out qualified by basically all the rivals that we face. All right, here we can see that this is also a real rival. So, let's push. Let's keep that push going. He's using the hex and the rooster boost. Let's cut down right there. We gave our drivers a little bit of extra grip and corners in this one. Not so much off of a power from the hex. Let's just cruise here for three laps and then we'll come back and boost the three. And basically do the three two two here. Oh, we see uh, Hamilton has the downforce, so he can do an extra lap. So we could do probably a three three with Hamilton, a three four with Hamilton, or a four three uh, with Lewis, and do the three two two uh, with Verstappen. Just let him continue the cruise by there. Let's boost him from here and boost for stop in from here as well. And we'll bring him in for softs. And then we'll just do four laps with him to the finish on conserve. And not come back to pit with him. Kind of throw off the rival thinking. Probably he's thinking that we're going to be doing a 3 2 2. And he's definitely probably going to be doing a 3 2 2. We're going to try to do something different here. Bit of a long pit time there. Don't lose it. There you go. 
All right, so we're gonna cut that down and then we're gonna keep the boost on Verstappen here. Let's see if he's boosted. No, he's not. Uh, but he'll definitely need to make another pit stop uh, with his driver. So we're just gonna keep Verstappen pushing for two laps, team Arders. See if we can get into getting on some of these po this point. Now he's pushing. Defending on our first step in here. Go to the inside, go wide. Uh, we went wide. He good, good block from his Hamilton there on the inside. Good block again from Hamilton. Putting our go to pit artist with our step in right there. We should have just dived into the pit with Lewis as well. And then we go for the undercut, but we will definitely should be get, be able to get the undercut here with Verstappen boosting to finish. Because he'll have to go back to pit while we don't. So we should definitely get the undercut as long as or Verstappen get in front of Lewis here. We should be able to catch that Alonso right on the exit. For the final push. Oh, he's running zero tires on his Hamilton. <laughs> uh, he's figured it out. If he had gone to pit with that Hamilton. He's, he figured out that we're going to go full laps with our Hamilton. So he decides to also go full laps. Four laps with his Hamilton. And we just have to cut up to regular driving on Verstappen here. As he does not have the f remaining fuel. That's needed to boost the finish. And we're going to boost Lewis right from about here. There it is. And we take a little of that point for ourselves. Good luck, bro. All right, so we take some of that points. I think that's 45 for us. 44, we'll take it. Add it to our tally. Let's jump on into the next race. Oh, let's look at these level seven drivers. Oh, look at that. Level eight, Lions on level eight, Hamilton. So that was a crazy match. <laughs> but yeah, let's jump on into the next race. Here we go for our next match on the US. Let's see how this one turns out. If we're going up against another maxed out Alonso and Hamilton, or we're going up against a level seven Hamilton and Alonso. Yep, one two again for Alonso and Hamilton. Yeah, it is what it is. That's how it is when it's the series events. Uh, no, let's give Hamilton the dead fast, and let's give. We're stopping the hex. And so it is when it's a series events and you don't have the series drivers at the highest level. It looks like this one is a bot race. So we should be able to overpower and take a one, two in this one should not necessarily, but should. As these bots are also strong from time to time. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to cruise here. Why are we cruising though? We should be boosting like for two laps to take the lead and extend some distance. Uh, but yeah. 
This is conserved for now. Hamilton is just dropping back as Rival pulls away. So we're going to boost a little bit of Hamilton down the back straight here with this dead fast. Kind of close down some of that gap on the Rival. Look at that distance created now. <laughs> oh, the dead fast is crazy on this track. Alright, so Alonso out ahead. Let's put in our go to pit orders here and here. We're gonna go for another boost to finish. Boost in from there with Hamilton and the dead fast. Create some distance. Go catch up to Alonso. Let's get in there and then we'll start our boost phase. Nice pit stop there. Oh, the rival Helmut Alonso went back to hard tire, so we should be able to get by him. Hopefully, if the game allows us to get by him. Sometimes you get like a you, you see a driver uh, on a easy overtake and you'd be like oh yeah we're gonna fly around and then he's running that that same strategy for like three three laps non-stop and you'd be like behind him boosting non-stop and your driver is just not overtaking and the game does still want you to overtake so <laughs> that, that's how it is sometimes right, let's go back to pit here and here and sometimes you you be on softs and you have like alonzo behind you here on hearts and you be boosting and boosting and you think that you've created enough distance on that Alonzo. And once you go to pit, then Alonzo just drives by casually. Simple. It's just how it is at times. Slow pit entry here, so we're going to stock. And we keep cut down there. And then we're gonna cut down there as well. And we'll wait for that back straight away, then we're just gonna create some distance and pick up that Alonzo. And then that's a one two race for us. And we'll just cut down to regular driving or conserve. There goes Verstappen in the lead, P2. And we'll just cut down to conserve from there. And just let our drivers cruise. We just need to watch our Verstappen with that Alonso. So Alonso does not come back and take a P2 position from Verstappen in the end. Looks like he's also doing a one stop, a 3-5. Five laps on those hards, three laps on softs. Or is he going to go back to pit in this lap? I doubt he's going to go back to pit in this lap. I doubt that. Let's see if he's going to go. Yeah, one stop. <clears throat> the good thing about this one stop with Alonso here, he won't have enough tires to boost. Uh, to put a challenge up on Verstappen in the final lap here so we could just cruise uh, with our Verstappen cut him up to regular driving and just basically cruise to finish for a 1-2 race here alright And then we'll take a look at the debriefing window. You'll see it's a level 7 Alonso and Verstappen. It is what it is. <coughs> you need to have the team event drivers at good levels if you want to perform with them or against them.
There we go. Level 7 Alonzo, level 7 Hamilton. Uh, if you've been wondering the setup that we've been using, that's the one that we're running with this weekend. And that's a rival setup there, as you can see, pretty strong. Let's jump on into the next race. Here we go for our next race. We're at Australia, Melbourne. See what qualifiers are like here. Once again, I, I strongly know that we're going to get out qualified by Alonso and Hamilton again. <laughs> but it is what it is. Or Hamilton and Alonso is just at level 6, so they're not yet at peak level. Oh, the rival is using Hamilton and Kimi here, not Alonso. Uh, let's see what we can give Lewis. I want to give him something with tires and fuel. Tires and fuel. Only the dead fast. This is not a track for the dead fast, so we're going to give him the downforce. And we'll just give Hex the Verstappen here. And let's go. All right, another bot rival. Nice start from ore drivers. Look at that. Nice start there. Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen just formed a line in the middle and then pick basically pick their spots at the top. It was a nice start. So this one should be another one too if Verstappen can get around Hamilton here. We're just going to keep the boost on them then. Uh, keep pushing. There we go. Now we can create some distance on the rest of the pack and get a free pit stop up front. Got a hex catching up to the downforce. The downforce is trying to pull away, but the hex is not having it. Look at that speed. It's just catching up. <laughs> We should be able to cut down right about here and here and do that third lap. Leaving the entire pack to be going to pit. And then we're going to be boosting our Hamilton right from here. Let's take some screenshot for the thumbnail. And we should be able to boost for a in as well right from here. It's a nice photo in the background. Zoom down on Lewis here. Get a nice one right there with this crowd in the stands. Ah, uh, come on, don't go on that right now, gay okay. thing. So get one with Verstappen at the, oh, by the beach. Yeah, we want a clear one. Nice. Or the lake. <laughs> it's definitely a lake. Now we're going to go back to pit here and here. And then we're just going to come back to cruise out. That start was beautiful in this race uh, to give us this 47. We'll take it. Got a beautiful start there. I'm just hoping for a top 10 spot at this point in the in the event. Nothing more. There's no way we're we have any chance to win uh, this event. So we're just hoping for a top 10. And we could basically just cut down from here and cruise. Take some more screenshot. Need those screenshots for the thumbnail. All right, Hamilton cut down. Verstappen has the extra fuel. 
so he can still go. Just push him. Go catch up to Hamilton. And we could cut Hamilton up to regular driving from here. And cut Verstappen to regular driving as well. Now he's down to low fuel. So we could cut him to regular driving. And that should be able to bring him right around to the pit lane. There we go. Another one, two for us. We'll take it. Right, let's wait for the rival to finish his race and then we'll jump on into the next race. Let me know down in the comments how your race has been going, how your event has been going. Are you getting the same kind of matches I'm getting? Out qualified by Hamilton and Alonso. <laughs> it is what it is though. Let's jump on into the next race. Here we go for our next race on Bahrain. Let's see what qualifiers bring us this time around. Nice little comeback there. Oh, he's running Hamilton Kimmy. All right, so we're going to give Hamilton the hex. As he's up a front, and then we're just going to go down force with, 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 or Verstappen, who's behind here. Give him all that extra power he needs to push through the pack and get some overtaking done. Looks like it's a real player as well. A timer past 20 seconds. So let's give him a good luck. All right, so he's going with uh, two other boosts from the dead fast and the hex. <coughs> so let's see how th this turns out. We basically lost one position already with that dead fast. Hex has already taken the lead. We're gonna cut down there. Uh, let's keep that X going uh, for two laps and get a free pit stop. All right, let's see if we can keep that dead fast going as well, since we're up to P7 now. So we've gained one position with the dead fast. Switch to the inside. It's down this straight now. Let's see if Verstappen is going to get any positions down the straight. He's trying. Yep, good overtake there from Max Verstappen, taking the inside line there, taking a double. Now to go push and catch up. You got a free pit stop here with Hamilton. Yeah, we're going to take a free pit stop with Verstappen as well. He just has a little bit of t extra tire management, so we're not going to push him too hard. We could cut him down there and do like an extra lap. Do the third lap if we choose. Yeah, we're going to do the third lap. And we'll just let him cruise the third lap there. As you can see the rival Hamilton tires is nice and low just as Verstappen's tire. Rival Kimi has good amount of tires. So he probably can boost his Kimi for a good amount of distance here. But we're just going to let our Verstappen cruise. Hopefully he does not suffer a breakdown here. At this point is where breakdowns normally come in. Right, we're going to boost him in from there. Nice little pit stop here. Did not run out of tires until he was in the pit lane. Now we're going to boost him on the exit for two laps. And come back. Basically in his boost phase at this point. Rival not boosting. And Verstappen has a lot of fuel. Plus he got extra fuel from the dead fast. So he'll have fuel to boost to the end. We could kick Hamilton off or boost from there. Bring him back around for a pit stop in a fifth. 
And now for the dead faster. Just dive down the inside here. Good try. Got him. All the way down the straight. Catching up to the rival here. Basically down the inside. Good try. First step in. We're going to go back to pit with him in this lap. So we want to get nice and in front of the rival. And we can try and like pull away. Create a little bit of distance so we can get back out right behind him. So when he goes to pit, we could basically just take that position nice and easy. So we're going to go to pit here. So he's going to go for an extra lap. We just want to get or for stopping out in front of that number four. Hopefully the number four comes to pit. Yes. All right. So we're back out right where we want to be. And we're just going to cut down to conserve right here. Is the rival boosting boat drivers? Yes, he is. All right, we're going to boost for stopping right here. We need to cut Hamilton down to conserve as well. All right, we're basically just going to boost for stopping right here. And then we're going to cut down uh, once we go by pit. He should be in pit at that point. Stocking. Fly by. There goes for stopping, flying by. And then we're going to cut him down right there. To conserve and that should be able to bring him to the finish uh, hopefully he's still in p2 when he gets to the end <laughs> and we could get 47 points from this one the rival is going to be pushing he's going to be coming with that hamilton he's using the palm boost there on hamilton as you can see we have a little bit of tire management to boost the finish on both our drivers here so we're just going to time it and let the rival continue to push. Is he still pushing his Hamilton? Yes, he is. Uh, and then we're just going to boost away from there and boost or Hamilton from right there. All right. So great race. Well done. 47 points for us. We'll take it. Yeah, give him a good luck. Good luck, bro. All right. On to the next race. And we want to see the levels of his Hamilton and his Kimi there. Probably a level 10 Kimi with a level 7 Hamilton. Oh, level 6 Hamilton with a level 10 Kimi. Okay, so fairly even match there. Let's look at a car. Yeah, we kind of overpowered him with the car there. Yeah, we're kind of stronger on the car. So nice one, two for us there. Let's jump on into the final race. Here we go for a final race on Japan. 46% chance of wetness. And we're still going with Hamilton and Verstappen. Uh, so if it rains in qualifiers, it is what it is. And it's sunny. Nice. All right, let's see where we're going to qualify now. Getting out qualified looks like Verstappen and Alonso pair again. Oh, it's a Hamilton and Verstappen pair. Nice. All right, so we're gonna go with uh, Hamilton. Uh, dead fast. Yeah, let's give Hamilton a dead fast, and we'll just give Hex the Verstappen here. And we give Hex the Verstappen, and then we're ready. We gave Hamilton a little bit of extra fuel and he's just going to use the dead fast to pull away for P1. And Verstappen, hopefully he can just stick. Nice drive, nice start from Verstappen here. Squeezing down the inside. That's how I like to see my driver start. As you can see, as I predicted, Hamilton was going to take P1 and just leave. <laughs> but yeah, nice start from Verstappen here. Down the inside. Come on, hold that P2. Good try. Cut down there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was beautiful, beautiful overtake there from Max Verstappen. That one was so beautiful. Just push that car in there, pushing that driver off the track. Exciting. <laughs> All right, let's keep that boost going. And then we're going to come back to pit after we create a little bit of distance here. For a free pit stop. And then we'll go back out 
and then come back to wet tires and then boost to the finish. We're basically doing a 2-3-2 two, two here based on how the rain comes in. So we're going to take a free pit stop right now. <laughs> then we're going to cut down and cut down. So we have 44 seconds for the rain. And we're just going to cruise here for three laps. Or we might cruise for two laps and then uh, come back to wets and boost the finish as it's two to four, three to four on wets. So those wets should be able to do four, three laps on boost. So based on how the weather comes in, then we'll, we'll decide from there. Slight rain, so it's not heavy rain. It's gonna take about two laps to, or one and a half lap before the track gets completely wet. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go to pit here. We're just gonna boost uh, here and go to pit. Get another free pit stop on the rival Hamilton there. Twenty percent. We could have gone for another lap, and then we would have come back around uh, for pit. Uh, but we're just going to take a free pit stop and do three laps on these wets. We could cut them to regular driving instead of boosting, and just cruise with them from there, or cut them down to conserve until the rival Hamilton catches up, and we could just boost them up for three laps. <coughs> Let's check if we would have made it back around on those softs uh, to go to pit before 50%. Yeah, I think we would have made it because we wouldn't have made the time. We wouldn't have lost the time uh, that we lost on the pit stop. So we, should, we, we would have definitely made it back around for those wets. Let's take a Hamilton Verstappen screenshot here for the thumbnail. No, that one didn't take well. And Verstappen just overtook Hamilton right at that corner uh, for the win. <laughs> and he's just pulling away. He's not. Let's boost up Hamilton to kill catch up to Max. Using that dead fast. And let's boost Max. Take a screenshot. Nice. Got that one with both of them in there. Nice. We got that. Another one. All right. All right. So Verstappen is not having it. He's gone for the win. All right, so another 47 points for us here. Let's see where we where we finally finished uh, in this event. 450 something, I would believe. Yeah, 450 something. Not good for first place, but definitely should hold for top 10. Probably P10. <laughs> if I'm lucky, it will get me P10. Now let's see where we finished. Use code word finish down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support. And also let me know down in the comments how you guys are doing in your event. There we go, 453. So we're currently in P1 for now. Not going to be able to hold P1 for long, but yeah. It's a good finish, a good event. Hopefully we get a top 10 spot. And that's basically going to be it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All good.